My aunt was a lady of large frame, strong mind, and great resolution. My uncle was a thin, puny little man. My aunt, however, took all possible care of him. My uncle grew worse and worse the more dosing and nursing he underwent, until in the end he added another to the long list of matrimonial victims who have been killed with kindness. My aunt took on mightily for the death of her poor, dear husband, and had a full-length portrait of him always hanging in her bedchamber. It was not long after this that she went to take up her residence in an old country seat in Derbyshire. She took most of her servants with her. The house stood in a lonely, wild part of the country among the grey Derbyshire hills. The servants were half frightened out of their wits at the idea of living in such a dismal, pagan-looking place. My aunt herself seemed to be struck with the lonely appearance of the house. She sat by herself, arranging her hair. She sat for a little while looking at her face in the glass, first on one side, then on the other, as ladies are apt to do. All of the sudden, she thought she heard something move behind her, and proceeded leisurely to put her hair on papers when, all at once, she thought she perceived one of the eyes of the portrait move. My aunt became instantly calm and collected and hastened down the stairs. She ordered the servants to arm themselves, placed herself at their head, and returned almost immediately. She, her hastily levied army presented a formidable force. In my opinion, she was the most formidable of the entire lot. A heavy groan was heard from the portrait. The servants shrunk back. Instantly, added my aunt. The picture was pulled down, and from a recess behind it, they hauled forth a varlet. She ordered the fellow to be drawn through the horse pond to cleanse away all offenses, and then to be well rubbed down with an oaken towel. He was sent on a voyage of improvement.